Hey there, Mr. 29-year-old me. First things first, I'd like to say that I really, really hope you still look like Andrew Garfield. <laughs> and now that you're 29, yeah, chances are it's really close to that, so please, please, I hope you do. But kidding aside, rather than give you more of my hopes for you, I think I'd rather remind you of my situation right now. That way you'd be able to compare your life then to the life you're having now that you're watching this and be able to reflect to see how much far you've gone or if you still need to go further. So it's January 2014, it's fir first week, and we both know how terrible 2013 for us. It was by far the worst year I've ever experienced and right now we're trying to get back up. So it's the start of a new year. It's pretty much still early in the sem, and so far so good, but the break uh, kind of pulled us back a few steps. Although we got the rest, I think it made us two lakhs and we made this really long checklist. Um, a lot of those are not crossed out, unfortunately. But I'm pretty sure we'll get back on track, especially because the academic year is almost ending and... I doubt you want to even mess up just one bit, although I'm pretty sure we will, <laughs> but nothing major, I hope. And although thinking of the first part I just said uh, is depressing, I want you to remember that right now you're a really, really happy boy. And not just that, but there are other things too that keep you going, keep you motivated and inspired to Make the changes you need to, and I doubt you would want to let them down. We actually wrote a quote in our clear book and photos of people that really mean a lot to us. And it says something there that if you can't do it for yourself, do it for them. So if disappointing yourself is fine with you, I'm pretty damn sure that for you disappointing other people is not a fun thing. So let's just use, continue using that as our motivation and inspiration to keep going forward and keep going and just try not to fall back down again or fall as badly or even worse. But in case if you did fall, because I never know what's going to happen in the next few years, I'd like you to use this video as a, a wake-up call for you. Um, just like what I did now, I want you to think of all your screw-ups, big or small, and analyze them really, really intensely. Af then, of course, f after after no recognizing what you did wrong, I want you to learn from that mistake. And of course, part of showing that you actually learned something from that mistake is for you to do something about it, for you to make a change. And once you've got that figure out, why not make another video for yourself? Talk to 39-year-old you. That's all. Bye.